are see first we are see the what is the renewable energy and which type of sources are included in the renewable energies so first what is the renewable energy so renewable energy is the energy which is available in the nature in unlimited form and it is never been ended okay or its sources are unlimited so whatever we can use or we can use suppose जर आपण रिन्युएबल एनर्जी रिसोर्सेस जे आहेत त्याला आपण कंटिन्युअसली जरी एक्स्ट्रॅक्ट केलंय तरी काय होणार ते संपुष्टात येणार नाही करेक्ट त्याला आपण सांगतोय रिन्युएबल एनर्जी सो व्हॉट इज द सोर्सेस ऑफ रिन्युएबल एनर्जी फर्स्ट इज द सोलार एनर्जी ओके सोलार ऑर सन इज द सोर्स ऑफ रिन्युएबल एनर्जी ओके सेकंड इज द विंड एनर्जी थर्ड वन इज द हायड्रो पॉवर अँड फोर्थ वन इज द ओशियन एनर्जी ओके सो in that lecture we can see the ocean energy firstly we take the outlook of that okay energy demand will continue to grow strongly we, as we know the development is in the process okay that's why the energy demand is continuously increases okay alternatives to business as usual can limit emissions to acceptable levels so the coal or any other fuel sources non renewable energy fuel sources produces and it emit the hazardous gases okay so emissions is emission level is set okay then next one is the strong environmental policies will be required okay then for that we know the non renewable energy sources are available in limited form so due to that the use of renewable energy is expanding okay then alternatives to present sources will be challenging to implement at the needed scale okay so ocean energy so firstly what is the ocean energy okay the oceans cover 75% of the world surface okay as we know the ocean is uh, cover near about 71% to 75% of the world surface okay it is the largest renewable energy sources available to contribute to the security of energy supply and reduce greenhouse gases emissions okay because of the it is available in the world surface near about 71% to 75% that's why it is a largest renewable energy source okay generation of electricity from the waves the tides the current and the currents the salinity gradients and the thermal gradient okay there are two types of categories of ocean energy okay first one is the thermal energy from sun heat and mechanical energy from tides and waves it is predictable source of renewable energy with potential to satisfy example meteorology okay so oceans and rivers covers about 70 to 75% of surface which receive and which receive store and dissipate vast amount of thermal energy okay as they act as a huge reservoirs of various re renewable resources of energy okay in that conversion of ocean wave energy to generate power however this energy varies very widely with respect to the time and time and place in amplitude and frequency thus power generation from waves is not cost effective okay the conversion of tidal energy to generate power the tides are caused due to the interaction of gravitational fields of the sun and the moon okay we all we know the tides are formed due to the interaction of gravitational fields between sun and moon okay the ocean level difference caused due to the tides contain large amount of potential energy which can be used to run a hydraulic turbine the cost of power generation is very high okay the temperature gradient across the depth of sea can be used to generate electrical power 
it is called as ocean temperature energy conversion or we can say otec okay since the temperature difference differential is low the efficiency of energy conversion it's very low with high capital cost the disadvantages of ocean energy conversion in all the above system described are as for first one is the high capital cost okay then has low energy density then third one is the potential for energy conversion is far away from the place of energy consumption and exploration exploitation of energy is difficult okay next waves the first first patent on wave energy conversion was issued early in 1799 and already in 1909 okay take advantage of waves energy is their movement so the turbine could be put in the action wave energy conversion is being investigated in a number of european countries major activity is also ongoing outside europe mainly in canada china india japan russia and the usa okay so tidal energy wave energy or tidal energy tidal energy is a renewable energy of hydro energy which is available due to the rise and fall of tides which occurs twice a day okay the tides are caused due to the gravitational attraction of moon and sun upon the rotating earth okay the maximum tidal range occurs at the time of new and full moon cause sink tide the total energy the total tidal energy of the world is estimated to be 3 into 10 raised to 6 megawatt it is very huge amount huge amount of power okay however only a fraction of this energy can be recovered but the fact is we can we can use or recover the only fractional part of that power okay so now we can see wave energy system okay wave energy system are divided into two two categories first one is the shoreline devices it is an easier installation and maintenance it does not require long length of underwater electrical cable then offshore devices is the second type in that more powerful wave re regime the recent designs for offshore devices concentrate on small and modular devices okay oh next is the tides exploit the natural rise and fall of the level principally by the interaction of the gravitational fields in the earth sun moon system okay very similar to the technology used in traditional hydroelectric power plant here is the diagram okay in that this is the wave direction okay so the water is going inside the this okay this chamber and in that here is the install a chamber the rear mark is the water water supply going to the generator or turbine sorry turbine blade means water strikes on the turbine blades okay also the air back in means air supply is also given okay water and air supply strikes on the turbine blades okay due to that turbine blades are rotated and the turbine and generator are mechanically coupled okay so that when turbine rotates then the generator generates the electrical power okay but after generation of power the exhaust water and air is out okay air is out to the surrounding but water is again going to the sea or ocean okay tidal range energy the is the the potential energy from the difference in height between the high and low tides so tidal range means the difference between high tides and low tides okay the tidal current energy 
it is the the horizontal movement that is the kinetic energy of the water okay here is the one diagram okay in that there is a seabed on that a turbine is installed then current means direction of water flow okay and upper side is the sea level okay the tidal power plant are divided into two types single basin one way system then double cycle system and double basin system okay in portugal okay what is the, now we can see the advantages of tidal power okay the advantages are energy is freely available and inexhaustible power can be used to meet local needs of coastal area for peak load then power is ensured around the year through its operation is intermittent then it is pollution free then it is unaffected by the weatherage of the monsoon the disadvantages of tidal power is, is the cost of plant is high needs long constructional period second is the not many locations are suitable for installing such a system okay power developed in on sorry power developed is on limited scale only the sedimentation of basins is a problem sea water is corrosive then it has any one operation marine life is affected okay so in the tidal power plant we can use kaplan turbines for variable pitch blades and special bulb type turbine generator sets are enclosed steel shell okay now next point is the thermal gradient due to solar heating the top layer of the water is much warmer than the deep solar deep ocean water okay this difference has to be at least 3 to 5 degree celsius so that so it could be an advantage for the thermal machine okay so thermal machine works on works is like works like a thermocouple okay as we know in thermocouple when two dis, two junctions having a two two temperature points then the current will be the then the amf will be going to it okay if we provide a close path okay here is the diagram in that a cold water is supplied from here and warm warm surface water is supplied here okay in that a condenser is used then evaporator is used and in that a pump is used and the tip when the warmer water is collected from the surface okay then this water is going to the turbine okay and due to that temperature difference the water is passes okay the water of water is passes from high temperature to low temperature that's why the pressure energy is created and that's why the turbine blades are rotated and by using generator we can generate electricity okay now advantages and disadvantages of the ocean energy in general all them depends on the season geographic locations and weather conditions when the algae attached to on the system it may produce methane and increases its concentration in the water then in case of thermal gradient energy the cost of construction is low has good efficiency 40 to 70 kilowatt per meter of wave a low cost of cost of inland transport is big so what is the conclusion ocean or tidal or wave resources are immense yet diffuse and expensive to exploit it's an energy that have big potential to be more developed in future this could be represent another solution in renewable sources of energy so that the management of 
management in this area could be more sustainable business thank you